Good morning, everyone. Someone in the group was wanting to know how to turn this into a two-part silkscreen stencil. So this video will show you how to do that. I have downloaded this image to my computer and within the design space canvas, you're gonna upload. You'll see I've already done it, but we're gonna upload the image, browse, and choose that file. It's simple with high contrast colors and transparent background. Continue. First thing we're gonna do is get rid of everything that is not blue. So select and erase tool, get rid of the background, all of the white, including the insides of each of these stars. And if you're really familiar with this part of the process, the upload process, then you might be a little bored because I wanna go all the way through it uh, for those who are not really familiar with it. I'm gonna preview. So you'll wanna, if you're really familiar with the upload process, you're gonna to wanna to skip through. We're gonna get rid of everything that is not blue. <clears throat> We're gonna get rid of this little thing in the corner. And you'll notice in the preview that there's a line across the top. There's also a line across the bottom. We wanna get rid of those. So second to the undo button, the preview button is your best friend in this process. Not worried about touching the red since we're getting rid of it. Make this eraser a little bit bigger so we can get rid of all this red faster. And you can also, with this select and erase tool, you can see that I can touch that, but then it left the outline, so I have to use, get rid of that with the eraser anyway, so I'm just erasing. And I'll get just close to everything that's blue and then go back with the uh, a smaller eraser to get rid of that. And then we'll basically repeat this process to get rid of all of the blue and white. Oop, I think I touched his wing there. Get rid of this blue thing in the corner and that line across the top. Check that preview for that line while I'm up there because I don't want to forget about that line and then miss a piece. Which, if you do that and you find yourself with it in your canvas and you see the piece, you can always slice it out. It's just always nicer if you do it this way because I might not notice that piece or remember that it's there later. Okay, I'm going to make this eraser a little smaller because I want to go inside here and get rid of all of these pieces. Cross that. There we go. And if you're using a mouse, I frequently lift my finger off the mouse. That way, if I need to undo something, I don't undo a whole bunch. And then you can see in the preview that there's this tiny outline around it that we're going to want to get that as well. Preview on this side looks good. I don't see anything at the top. I see nothing on this side or the bottom, so we're gonna go to the other side. And one more little preview here. Let's see what that looks like if we got everything. I don't see anything there. So we're left with, from that image, 
So the eagle was blue and the inside of that shield is blue right there. So we've got that and the eagle and that's all that's there. Continue. And I always look here too to make sure that there aren't tiny black spots showing up anywhere that I need to go back and erase. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this as a print and cut just so that it's already blue in my project for uh, when I'm placing it. We will change it to a cut later. Eagle. And save. And then we're going to repeat that process for the red parts. We want to get rid of everything blue and white and leave only the red. Browse. Get that image again. Simple, continue, I'll go a little bit faster on this one, but uh, select an erase tool, get rid of everything white, don't forget about the insides of, actually you don't have to worry about the insides of the stars because you can use the eraser on them and just get rid of them this way instead of individually clicking on them. Got that away from, I'm going to go around this red with my small eraser. And then I'll, just like I did before, I'll go around with a big eraser when I'm not concerned about touching anything. So this tiny outline right here, I'm using the small eraser there. Not worried about touching the blue here. Don't want to mess up my red though. Okay, now I'm going to do the Select and Erase tool, get rid of all this bulk of the blue, and then I'll just go around and get rid of that outline. So you can do it either way. On the other one, I didn't bother with erasing that. You can do it either way. Make my eraser a little bit bigger. And then again, I'm going to have that line on the bottom and top to deal with again. because that'll be each time you try to upload this photo that will be there since it was in the original photo. Make this a little smaller because this time I don't want to touch my red while I'm down here erasing this line or right up here erasing this line. Now I can make it bigger to get rid of this piece over here. And all this black on this side. Do a quick preview while I'm at the top and bottom so that I don't forget about those. Top looks good. Bottom looks good. Now I can get rid of all this middle stuff that wasn't red. And then again, anywhere I need to, I can always come back with a smaller eraser. Like I'll come back smaller right through there right between that peak up right here. As you can see, my eraser touches. And I can get through here clicking. If I'm right close to something, then I'll just place and click instead of um, scrolling through there. Same thing on this side, I'll want to come back right in there with a smaller eraser. And then I will check again with the preview. Make sure I haven't missed anything. There's a black spot right here, so I'll place my eraser there and then click on it. I saw one on the other side as well. Here's one right here. Preview. And I'll just come through each of those places. Right here. Okay, do another preview. 
and I'm just looking for any tiny black spots anywhere. This one still looks a little bit not clean as I would like it to be. Because anything that isn't clean, like I said, it will cut that way. So you want to really take your time during this process and make sure you have a nice clean image. On um, iPhone, and I believe on my iPad also with the app, you can do, use a, a despeckle tool which will help with some cleaning up, but you got to be careful because it will erase things that you want as well. All right, that looks great. All the red parts remain. And the reason I didn't do the stars in either one again is because you will have a white iced cookie. Outline for eagle. And save. So again, I, mean, I know I took quite a bit of time here on the video for that process, but if you are not familiar and you're new and learning, then uh, I'm going to delete a couple of those. If you're new and learning, then it's valuable to be able to see this step by step. So now I'm going to take both of these. I make sure that I got the green box around both of them and insert image on the bottom right there. Now I'm going to, they should be sized proportionately because I used the same image to upload each of them. And I'm going to place it, basically just eyeballing that, where it goes. And that looks good there. So I'm going to draw a box around that. You could also, there's several ways to do that. You can draw a box around it. You can come over to your layers panel, use your shift key and select as many things as you want. You can use the shift key and select as many as you want there. So three different ways to do that. And now I'm going to group them so that I can size that and they'll be still in proportion with one another. I'm going to make it three inches tall and bring in a shape. A square so this will be your stencil frame and with silk screens I usually do my plastics about five and a half inches but silk screens tend to because they're so thin they're harder to keep in the uh, stencil holders the frames so I would make this a little bit bigger either 5.65 or even six inches uh, whatever is easier for you to cut and whatever your preference is there but a little bigger than five and a half typically doesn't matter what color your square is, I just do that because it shows up better on the video for you. And this has gone behind because it was on the canvas first, so we'll need to arrange and send it to the front. And now I, with this selected, I'm going to shift key, select my square as well, and center that. Now I'm going to group that together so that this all moves as one piece. I'm going to duplicate and then see this moves as one piece because I had grouped it previously. I'm going to take one of them, ungroup, be very careful not to move anything. You can select the group over here if you're afraid you're going to move it by touching it on the canvas. Ungroup, and then with that grouping, I've got the blue part, I'm going to delete that. Get the remaining part, select with your shift key, and regroup so this can now move freely without coming apart same thing over here with your other grouping ungroup and then take that grouping ungroup that and now we're going to delete the red part so we have the blue over here the group the uh, red over here remember to regroup that so it doesn't move um, up here, I'm going to change this to no fill, so we're going to lose the color because we want it to be a cut file, not a print file. Same thing over here. Um, this one, I think, let's see, this one, the blue guy, I didn't attach that yet. So we want to grab both of those pieces and attach. Same here, attach. So we have got red on one piece, blue on the other piece, they are attached and those are ready to go to the make it process. If you have any questions, post them in the comments.